Good evening. I would like to start this video lesson and it dedicate to joint inversion again. This time it will be joint inversion of refraction P and S data. It's very popular in near surface seismic. Many thanks to Vlad Moldepov who provided this data and I can share it with you. First of all, I open project this pigs because a picking was done in different projects. I should merge it first. I open as data first, and here you can see it's marked as P type. So I should exchange my data from p to s type now i can add another project to current one and now i have both data sets in one project let's see here in the end of records here is the p waves and s on the start um, so let's see. Travel time curves wave looks very good and picking is confident. So we will do nothing else and can go to inversion mode. Okay, here is the start parameters for these data sets. One mesh. One more thing. I would like to do is adding topography from two columns text file. So here is the X coordinate and here elevation. Now I have a project with elevation for every gap one and sources. And what I will do next. I'll improve accuracy of calculation and I should turn on a cross gradient inversion for uh, P and S data because we correlate very good. Uh, I think CC criteria will be best because uh, it's maximized correlation between models. And I should switch on seismic data VS. Okay, uh, pushing factor is important. So this term in inversion of um, cross gradients. And M3 is a big one usually, but this data set is very good. And we would like to get maximally similar models. And I think I'll remove three first layers from uh, joint operate, operator. Mm -hmm. Two layers is enough. And now I can start inversion. This goes for both my data sets together. Optimization is on. I recommend use uh, optimization line search for joint inversion because it's maybe very different and not balanced methods. already less than one percent rms is good i think three for iteration is enough for this data set okay stop it 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like this is V A model and V S model. Looks very similar. First. We can see them together plus Poisson ratio coefficient. Okay, VP and VS. Okay, our next approach for joint inversion is native, is arbitrary layered model. So I switch to this mode of this. Switch and first of all, I'm going to change layered parameters, just geometry nodes and velocity nodes. See, okay, I think it's enough. Uh, and I think start model here is not so good. So I'll do one Z correction for the start model. First for P data and second for S data. Okay. Now I would like to see both of them. So So now colors is velocity P and this marks levels is velocity S. So now I should turn on these options for joint inversion and I can start it. Now, at the first iteration, you can see that our initial model has changed. I think two, three iteration will be enough. These models for P waves and S waves with the same geometry of layers. And we can check it together again. is VP and VS velocity distribution is a depth. Thank you very much. Our lesson is finished. We'll see you.